Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Cuoma. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want a list of all the supplies that I use, they're all in the description box. So as I'm showing those to you guys, I'm just going to show you guys also the inspiration for my cap. I just put it there on the top left. I really wanted it to be like a Mean Girls burn book inspired cap. I'm going to try to duplicate this cap as best as I can. Because, and I think I did a good job actually. But I wanted to really duplicate it because this is exactly what I wanted. So we're going to get the letters out. We're going to get foam sheets out. All of that is going to be so cute. This cap though that I'm using, I think it's based off of like a nail tech because like there's nails on it and like but I'm just gonna remove those nails from my inspo and put RN. Now I'm just taking off the tassel so it doesn't get dirty and figuring out what the front of the cap is because I want you to be able to read it from the back. So once I figure that out, I'm just gonna use my Mod Podge glue, put that all over the cap. Um, fair warning, I did this probably three times all over the cap and glitter just because one layer is not going to do it. You're going to need an opaque layer of glitter to make it look pretty. So yeah, I did this three different times as you guys are going to see and the glitter that I used, I had to go to like three different Walmarts to find this glitter. They were sold out everywhere. I wanted a really chunky pink glitter. Like I didn't want fine glitter, which is what I kept finding. I wanted it to be a mixture of fine chunky glitter and Walmart had the perfect color and consistency. And I went to three different Walmarts, couldn't find, well, the third one, I found it so happy i'm so happy how the glitter came out it looks so pretty in person too like yeah but yeah now i'm just gonna shake off the glue and as you guys could see that is not enough like you could still see the streaks and i don't want that so you're gonna do well i'm gonna do two more coats so yeah just enjoy Okay, so I'm gonna do, well I did one more coat and now I'm gonna spray this with my Mod Podge sealant. I do this so that the glitter does not transfer everywhere. I do not want to touch my cap and get glitter on my finger. So I spray this to make sure none of that happens. And make sure to spray that in a ventilated area because it's very, 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 very strong. But yeah, so now I'm cutting out my foam sheets. I'm using white and black foam sheets to cut out the spaces that goes behind the letters. Um, I'm literally just following the picture. Like as you can see in the corner, I'm just gonna follow that picture. And the letters that you see there that I have cut out, I pre-cut those out already just to save time. But I basically went on Canva and I wrote some letters that I needed and I think I used the font Lucky Bones in like 120 um, size and that's how I got those letters just cut them out to save time and now you're gonna see me writing in the letters that I need to write in for certain areas and I'm gonna be putting on other letters that need to go into their space um, as you can see, I also have foam letters that are white. Uh, I had to compromise with some letters, like as you can see for licensed, um, the E is a three. And for the other E, it's like an A upside down, but I cut a little part off. Like, And then the eyes, I customized some of them too. Like, It was very, very tedious. I thought I was going to be able to do this in like two hours, the whole thing. Like, I don't know who told me that that was going to happen. This took like a good four or five hours like this was really really long um but yeah now i'm just coloring in the letters that need to be black because they have a white background if they have a white letter then it needs a black background and then a black letter needs a white background very self-explanatory but yeah so now i'm just putting them on the cap to see how the spacing will go um in a moment you're gonna see that the ones with the white letters and black backgrounds are going to change um i ended up not liking the solid bl black foam sheet so i changed it to the glitter one i was gonna use the glitter one for some of them and something else but then i was just like let me just change them all 
to the black glitter background it looks so much better too in person as well so you're gonna just see a switch soon i didn't care to record it because you already saw me putting them on but um yeah i'm just seeing what fits where and making sure everything fits together And right here, I'm just trying to figure out the spacing for my RN letters. Um, I got most of these supplies from Michaels, by the way. Everything is linked down below. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure it fit good. And I'm also going to be putting my little jewel on the, um, the part where the tassel goes. And I also got these like little specialty glitters. They're basically like big pieces of glitter that is a shape. And the shape is a unicorn and I thought that was so pretty. So I'm just trying to see if I like that on the cap and I loved it. So I'm putting the specialty glitter, my flowers, the iron letters all over, you know, spaced out differently on the cap. And now I'm hot gluing the letters onto the cap. I wanted to make sure everything looked right before I started gluing. Make sure you like what you're seeing completely like make sure you do everything first before you glue down everything because you can't it's gonna mess up everything if you glue first and also a hot glue gun is essential i don't think any other type of glue is going to work um well not as fast because this took me four or five hours if i didn't have a hot glue gun it would probably have taken me seven eight so yeah i'm putting on my butterflies as well that i got from michael so cute and it's really, really, really coming together perfectly. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. I can't believe I did this. and now for the main attraction the feather boa i got this from party city and fair warning this gets everywhere like it sheds like crazy but um we gotta do what we gotta do so i basically am hot gluing the rim and putting on the stem of the boa onto the rim um it has like a hard center i get i think it's like a braided thread or something i'm putting that on the rim and trying not to get too many of the feathers on the rim i'm also going to be cutting the feathers down a little bit because i don't like how it's in the way of some of the letters and the decorations so i'm going to be cutting the inside portion and i'm going to be cutting the outside portion as well And voila, this is the finished look. I'm so proud of myself. I can't believe I did this. And if I could do it, you could definitely do it too. I can't believe I'm graduating. Finally, I'm going to be an RN. An RN. Like, I had to go crazy with the cap. I had to. But <laughs> thank you guys for watching. If you like me or if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl to catch the vibes and to not miss out on any new video. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be next week. Thank you. Bye.